Within the last couple of weeks, we've got a slew of new Rolly news that I wanted to cover, so let's jump right into it. Their second most recent blog post is from mid-March and reads as following. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge the incredible team at Mint and Rolly for their tremendous support. Thank you, and then goes off to name a couple of people, and the film community for your invaluable input. To the Mint partners, thank you for understanding our vision. I promise to deliver our products to you first thing when they're ready. A heartfelt appreciation goes to our supply chain partners who supported us through the challenges of COVID and a special mention of our lens designer and maker without whom this camera wouldn't exist. And of course, our past, current and future Mint users. The blog includes a photo of the team working on the camera and that it'll be a few more months until the camera becomes available. Additionally, there are a handful of photos that are shared here, which I think actually look really good. As of just a couple days ago, we got another blog post and that reads as the following. Let's start by taking the name Rolly 35 AF. The AF in the name stands for autofocus a feature that takes this legendary camera to new heights. We believe that classics are meant to be cherished and our mission is to preserve the essence of this iconic camera while incorporating new features that enhance its capabilities without compromising its unique charm. With the added autofocus and other features, capturing stunning analog film pictures becomes effortless, quick, and incredibly precise. Of course, the Rolly 35AF retains the beloved features that have made it a favorite among photography enthusiasts. It comes with a full metal body, five element all glass lens with coating on every side, and exposure controls. But that's not all. We've also included a built-in light meter and auto modes, allowing you to focus entirely on the things in front of you, the composition before your eyes, and concentrate on deciding what to capture on a rectangular 35mm film canvas while seizing that split-second decisive moment that leaves viewers impressed. You can capture the beauty of a sunrise, the enchanting sight of cherry blossoms in full bloom, the moment when graduation caps are thrown in the air, and the heartfelt celebration as your family blows out birthday candles together. Just imagine how captivating the experiences that await you with the Rolly 35 AF will be. This to me is all really exciting news. It's kind of taking an older, more classic design, bringing it into the modern era and definitely making it more appealing for a more general audience. As we've seen the growing number of people interested in film point and shoots continue to grow year in and year out. Look at some of the plastic cameras we're getting from Kodak that are being sold on Amazon and some of the cameras that are like. They are selling thousands of these and seemingly not really slowing down. I also think the image quality on this is up to par with a lot of the uh, older high quality film cameras, I guess we can say. The fact that they're able to get glass that stands up to some of these more legendary cameras is definitely a good sign for future cameras to come. I'm trying my hardest to get my hands on this camera before it releases so I can show you guys and get some example photos out there so we can really test to see if this camera uh, does stand up to the original. So we'll see what I can muster up. Obviously the more support on these videos, uh, the more leverage I can use with Mint to hopefully uh, get a camera. Otherwise I think it's gonna wrap it up for this one guys. Before I outro, obviously, uh, I'm in a much different location. I just recently moved to Colorado. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more camping and outdoor based photography here soon. Um, obviously the weather is still warming up so the mountains aren't super accessible, but I do have a lot of cool trips planned uh, coming up here very soon. Also, also before you take off, uh, I wanted to mention that my good friend Chris from the Photo Lab and Volandes uh, both recently have been diagnosed with cancer and that they could use our help. Um, thankfully, a lot of the film community has band together and supported them and raised quite a bit of money for them already. But I'm sure as you know, cancer treatment is definitely not cheap. And with how the American healthcare system is, um, they could definitely use our help. So I'll leave those GoFundMes down in the description below. Um, I do definitely appreciate all of the support for those guys. Otherwise, until the next one, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Stay shooting. Stay safe. Adios.